schedules. Right now, we're trying to get our guys rested. We had a, we had a ten week stretch there, where we had no bye game, no, no bye weeks, and so that's really was a, it was a physical and mental grind on our guys. So we're still getting them back from that. Uh, we're lifting weights, we're running, uh, we're doing some, some light football work right now. We're getting through finals. Once we get through finals, then we'll kind of gear it up and start getting ready for Utah. Now, your is kind of a different brand of football. Is it kind of nice to play an opponent that you might you know, not see in a lot of conference draft? Well, I think so. It's, it's fresh and it's new. You know, absolutely. It's, it's a team that there's really not going to be any common opponent. There's going to be a whole new challenge. You know, I can't really comment on their scheme because I haven't watched it. But uh, just knowing, I mean, they're not going to be run triple option. I know that. You know, they're not going to be in the I formation a whole lot. I kind of know that. But other, other than that, I think that it's going to be a, a spread team. It's going to have a ton of athletes. And, and great challenge for us. Is your goal just to make things as routine as possible as they have been all season now as you go through the bowl? It is. You know, that's why we haven't made a lot of changes. Uh, at this point, we want our guys to be comfortable with what we're doing, you know, offensively, defensively, and, and uh, the schedule will be very similar. You know, obviously it's a little different based on you know, what bowl you go to and what time that you play, time on the calendar. But uh, as far as our guys and, and who's coaching what and what we're working with, it'll all be very similar for sure. In terms of you individually, I guess, how, how have things changed you know, from just the regular schedule these past few days? Well, these past few days has been a whirlwind. Uh, so my schedule's changed a lot in terms of just being able to, to um, you know, deal with things that head coaches deal with, but also just because of the way things transpired, it's, crazy for, it's created a pretty crazy last few days. It'll, it'll calm down a little bit. You know, I'm really anxious to get back on the road and take it, to get a deep breath You know, when I get on that plane tonight. But uh, at the same time, it's been exciting. You know, our coaches are just, uh, just band together, we're locking arms, and we're uh, attacking this thing head on. What was that first practice like as a head coach? Were you nervous? You know, I was just excited to get back on the field. I was just ready to go coach football. You know, I think you get on cut and all the other stuff and all the different things you have to do. But but uh, it, it was fun, you know, but at the same time, felt a little different. And the kids gave me a hard time because obviously they focused on defense the whole time. And then when the offense made a good play, they're like, what are you going to do, coach? <laughs> I said, well, I got cheer for them too. <laughs> so, but anyway, that was that was fun. And uh, it was just neat to see them get out there and compete against each other. What are some of the extra responsibilities you take on? I guess some of them are probably pretty obvious, but what are, I guess you kind of lay out some of the extra things you've doing the last three days? Well, you know, at this point, you know, you're trying to get everybody kind of comfortable with what the direction is. You know, when something like this happens, there's just a lot of questions. You know, questions on the coaches, questions on their future and everything. So I, I think for me, it was a matter of just kind of calming everybody down and say, hey, this is what we're going to do. This is the vision for between now and getting to the bowl game and, uh, you know, plan that directive out. But obviously, then the, the other things are just you know, the organization of you know, just playing a practice. You know, instead of Coach Wilson to tell us this is what we're going to do, we got to go through and set that tone for how we're going to, you know, the time slots and everything we're going to work on. <laughs> The meal schedule, the, the different times of tutoring and academics, just all the things that you have to do you know, as, as the guy in charge. So it's been uh, been different, but also been uh, been good. Will you do anything offensively in terms of any input offensively, or you kind of just let things go the way you go? No, I'm not going to at this point. You know, I didn't tell you know, obviously to, to decide if we're going to go for it on fourth down or not. You know, things like that. I will, but I'm not going to tell them what to do. Do you reach out to any peers in the industry about any advice for taking over as head coach? <laughs> I, have, and things like that? I have. You know, I got a lot of close friends, and, and, and one in particular has been in a situation similar to this. So we'll talk to him right away and just uh, get their advice. It's always good to get uh, guys' input that have been there in this situation. I've kind of had some, you know, they've been able to learn from things that they would do again or things that they would not do again and, and give you their, their input. So uh, for sure. Anything in particular? Any like one major piece of advice that you wanted to share that they told you? Like, well, I mean, I, I, I think that the biggest thing is, is is don't lose sight of who you are. You know, I'm I'm, I'm a guy that coaches with a ton of energy and passion, and I'm a defensive guy. Yeah, I'm going to focus on that side of the football, keep that where it needs to be, make sure the offensive coaches know exactly what what we want to be doing. You know, schematically, we don't see a lot of change in that right now, but it's it's more about just making sure that you are who you are. Don't feel like you have to change anything. We got to this point by playing really good defense and uh, playing together. And, and I, my big change was, and challenge was the you know, thing was that when you get in this kind of situation, games like this, it becomes an issue of, of turnovers. And I did clarify, you know, for, for my own verbiage, so I'm not to do push-ups right now. When I talk about offense, we can use the T word for turnover. Okay, we're talking about the defense. It's a takeaway. Okay. So I had to clarify that with our staff so I wouldn't get called out for push-ups. But, but, but seriously, that's something we have to really focus on. And to me, to win this football game, we got to protect the football. And we got to score in the red zone. And so those are the kind of things that, in talking to the guys that I that I mentioned, their their advice is, hey, address the issue need to be addressed. Be who you are. You go attack this last game and finish off the season strong. It's only been a couple of days. Have there been any kind of staff changes in terms of duties? 
you mentioned that you guys wanted to um, internally fill the open. Yeah, what we did, uh, Sean Watson um, was a quality control position off the field, and he's been put on the field. He'd be coaching quarterbacks for the bowl game, and then um, Coach Johns would be coaching the receivers and during the bowl game. He'll be calling the offense. And so other than that, that's the only staff change we made, and that allows you know, Coach Watson to be on the road recruiting now, and uh, he's allowed to do that. And so that gives us our nine full <coughs> positions, and then I would be the tenth guy. So that was one change for sure, and a, and a very, very good change in terms of he's a quality, quality guy to slide in that position to do an excellent job. You mentioned the guys kind of ribbing you when the offense made a good play. Have you found it hard to kind of keep the same intensity that you had as defensive coordinator while taking on the role of the, uh, head coach? Well, it's only been one practice, so um, I don't think it was hard. It's different. You know, and I've been a head coach before, not at this level, but but I, I do think that's a challenge. It's just like even if you're an offensive guy and you're the head coach, you know, you got to be able to understand that it's not just about what the offense does well, it's what the defense also does. So I get to balance that off, but they give me a hard time because usually it was just always everything I did was just focused on the defense, you know. And so when he made a good play against us, I got to rip the defense, get them motivated and challenged, and then go celebrate with the offense. So that's a different part. From a personal standpoint, how nice was it to see your son play on Friday night? It was unbelievable. I can't even put into words. You know, I just, just so think we had that opportunity. Got to have my, my family down there with us. You know, I was playing at a, at, a, at a high level game, the semifinals of the state of Florida in, in Class 7A, and to see them win and, and, and go now to the, to the state championship game, which will be in Orlando this next week, was a, it was a thrill and a memory of a lifetime.